subscribers and viewers of our Ubi channel, I want to welcome you back to this wonderful channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually bond two internet interfaces in Microtech router to achieve a maximum internet bandwidth throughput. So kindly stay tuned and watch this channel. Thank you very much. Let's quickly launch our Winbox and get into the router. And so this is my router. Okay, so I've gotten into my router. So the first thing that I need to do is to, first of all, make sure the interfaces I'm going to use for my internet, which is ETA1 and ETA2 these two ports here are not part of a bridge okay so let me even proceed and then um, name the ETA1 as 1-1 one, one. one means wide area network okay and then do the same thing with the second port which is ETA2 which is 1-2 okay now when you're done the next thing you need to do is to come to bonding and then add these two interfaces okay mind you if we go to the address list we have no address here so let's do the bonding and then give it a unique name so um, let's say internet bonding okay and then I you under bonding and under slave you add the ports you want to add as a slave but before we proceed make sure it doesn't belong to none of these ports which is ETA1 and ETA2 doesn't belong to any bridge here okay else it's you wouldn't be able to achieve the kind of configuration you want to do so when you're done or when you've confirmed that they don't belong to any bridge you go ahead and apply and okay and so if you look at this side we have a new interface called internet bonding now the next thing is we want to bring internet through these two interface we bonded together which means these are two separate isps and it means you want, you can be able to bond more than two interfaces for internet depending on the number of ISPs you, you have or you have been provided. If you have about five ISPs, you can also do this bonding for five ISPs. But in this case, we only have two ISPs here. And so we need to proceed and then come to IP under DSCP client and then now proceed by bringing the internet into this router and so the interface to select is the bonding interface we just created which is the internet bonding you select it and you apply which means it is going to fetch an IP so it's not going to fetch more than one IP it's going to fetch only one IP from either of these ISPs so let's wait a bit okay so this is what we've gotten from one ISP which is ETA1 ETA1 gives us this IP okay now let's proceed and see if we have internet flowing in this router so we have internet flowing in this router let's proceed and test the bandwidth and see if there, there have been any improvement but before um, I proceed with this um, okay so let me first um, come in with okay so because it belongs to a slave it will not be possible to okay let me just undo the bonding I just did 
and then let's see I'm going to test the bandwidth and see how good I receive internet from my first ISP so let me proceed and then um, select bandwidth test so I need to test the bandwidth of the gateway on the first ISP and then see the throughput so this is what I'm getting this is the throughput I'm getting that's the upload and download okay now let me enable this interface and then change the client DACP to the internet bonding I just created and let's see what happens press it okay now this is the IP I've gotten from my ISP so I'm now getting an IP from my one two okay so this is it now let me still test this bandwidth and see connecting okay let me change the IP because there's been a change of IP so let me proceed and then check with this can't connect Okay, great. So it has changed to one of the ISPs. The first one, which is 1-1, one, one, this ISP. And with this ISP, it enables me to change, check the bandwidth test of it. So let me quickly do that. You see. there have been a certain improvement with aspect of this speed as you can see here okay so that is it thanks for watching this video kindly subscribe like share my videos and comment on my videos as well thank you for watching